all you beautiful gamers, I'm Julie C, and welcome back to The Elder Scrolls Online. Now, some of you might have noticed I'm not wearing my Afterglow headset. That's because it's dead to me now. Literally, it's on the couch. It's broken. The mic doesn't work, so I'm hoping you guys can hear me through this. And this relic belongs to my husband. It's his old headset. He has a way better headset now. It's way better than mine that just died. So hopefully I'll be getting one soon too. Yay! But enough about me complaining about my headset gear. Let's go ahead and jump right up back into this. Get on Velsa and continue playing our game. Oh my gosh. I'm so sad about my headset, guys. You have no idea. Although I did have a good weekend, as always. Still a little bit, a little bit hurting, but I'll be all right. Just feeling a little down, but I got this. I can do anything that I put my mind to. Candy helps. I like Kit Kats. I like chocolate. I like uh, nutty bars and stuff. Okay, guys. A little bit has changed since the last episode. Um, we left off here, and we we're going to follow the assassin and her apprentice through this back way to escape these mercenaries that are after us. And I did... Uh, if you guys watched my last video, I opened Crown Crate. So I want to show you what else I got in that. And, of course, I've got my pet. Which is amazing, by the way, and I'll try to get a better clip of him. But I also bought this hairstyle, and I think it really suits Vel Velsa. I love it. I love the pigtails. It's super cute. So let me know what you think. Do you think that's cute? I, I decided it was cute. I think it's cute. I like it. But let's go ahead and look at my little pet here. And you know what? I never even looked up what he w what his name was. I guess I could name him whatever I wanted. But let's go ahead and check. Just because I'm curious... Mm, what would that be under non-combat? Oh, here he is. Blue Cap Shroom Shock. Shulk? Shulk. His name is Sporebug. Oh, that's kind of cute. Sporebug. I'm going to call him Blue. I like Blue. So I'm going to call him Blue. So this is Blue, my little beautiful insect. And I thought, you know, after opening Crown Crates and I bought him, I thought, you know what? He would look super cute with Velsa. And, oh my gosh, I just love those pigtails. It suits her. So I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Shout out to these guys. Hello. Nice to meet you. I like your puppy. I like your bears. Who's that guy? Who are you? Tell me about yourself. So we're going to go ahead and finish this story. Ooh, what was that? Oh, uh, wait. Lockpicks. You could always use more of those. I thought it was a chest and I was going to open it before these guys got to it. I'm greedy. Here we go. Does it? Here, let me turn up my audio of it. I'm not sure if it's the headset or the game. Here, let's let's turn up this volume a bit so we can hear what they say. There we go. Does the ceiling look sturdy to you? Now I'm frightened. I don't want to be underground. Those cat bastards are harder to shake than a blind date. Oh no, is that them? Do I have to fight them? No, those are those are friends. Those are friends, not food. <laughs> not for fighting. They're buddies. Should I talk to her or should I You know what? I need to start paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay, look at the map, Julie. When in doubt, look at the map. Here we go, guys. Oh, I forgot where I was going. Why am I bad at this? I've been playing this game for like almost three years think I'd be better at it. You think by now I'd be better at this game. <laughs> but I'm having fun and that's all that matters, guys. This looks promising. Let's give it a try. Wait. Yeah, I think I'm I'm going to trust my I'm going to trust my gut. But guys, take a minute. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Murrowind is beautiful. This headset might be a relic, but gosh, can I hear pretty well in this. I'm actually impressed. It works as well. It's been a long time since it's been out of the closet, so it's as it, I expected not to hear right anything. Out. I just hope there aren't any red up there. I hope not either, and I hope your dad like is super chill when we run into him again. Woo! We got out of there. Woo! Right on. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing a good job. I do my best. I try. <laughs> I really hope you guys can hear me all right. I did a few tests and it sounded it sounded legit. But who knows? I could break this one too. 
I have no idea how that mic broke. Just doesn't work anymore. Oh well. Where am I going? Hey you. Oh, no. Tell me about yourself. Oh fuck. That's my father. That sucks. What's he doing here? Oh Sweet man. Rose. If you spot Maya, report back to me. She's not to be harmed. I was wrong. You don't harm the agents I hired either. There is no need for bloodshed. Man, I was wrong. Her dad's not super chill. He sounds like a jerk, but that guard guy that's a friend of hers, he sounds pretty nice. Father ruins everything. I'm so close to finding my brother and he shows up to drag me back home. Well, I'm not going back without a fight. I'll cause a distraction so you can get out of here. I'm going to help you because you're my friend. You, you do that for me. I would. Thanks. That's just the kind yes. of person Julie C. is. What can you possibly do against all those soldiers? My father brought the whole damn army with him this time. Damn. Your father hired me to find you and set up a meeting. I might as well give him a progress report, you know. I could do that. I'm not technically helping him. I'm more helping her. Clever. Tell my father whatever he wants to hear. That might actually work. Oh my gosh, I feel like a 16-year-old girl again. The camp to the south. My brother would often visit that particular tribe. It's as good a place as any to start. Okay, um, will you meet with your father after you find your brother? Once I find Oran and make sure he's alright, mm -hmm. I'll meet mm -hmm. with my father. But that meeting will be on my terms, not his. I got your back, girl. Tell him to call off his soldiers, or I might change my mind. That should buy us some time. You're absolutely right. Alright, here we go to talk to her dad. We're gonna trick him. I'm totally on Vea's side. I'm- Stand I'm- down. These outlanders work for me. I'm important. I got big stuff going on. Big things, buddy. I got things. I've got powerful connections. And watch out from Blue. Yeah, come here, Blue. Let's go, pal. The captain reported that he had seen you in the area. There are also multiple reports that Vea has been spotted. Tell me, have you seen my daughter? I thought I we agreed- well until she's home, safe and sound. I thought we agreed you wouldn't use any other outsiders thingy, my bobber. I also said that the captain has his own resources. The war clause report to Bribbon, not me. Look, we're all just trying to get my daughter home safely. Now, tell me what they is thinking. Wow, first of all, this guy is really, really controlling. <laughs> Super, like, trying to hunt his adult daughter down. Like we talked in the last episode, guys. There are no children in the Elder Scrolls Online. There are no small 11-year-old, 8-year-old people, like, children. There are adult 30-year-old, 40-year-old people, like his daughter, who are grown women who can think for themselves. Vea will meet with you, but on her own terms. All these soldiers have scared her away. You're a terrible dad. It was a gamble, I admit. An opportunity I couldn't let slip away. You won't make me feel guilty about trying to find my daughter. I will. <laughs> so, where and when will Bea meet with me? Soon. She asked me to do one more thing, and then she'll be ready to meet with you. Very well. We'll do this her way. What a, at least Bea he's trying. Bea can be as stubborn as her mother sometimes. But tell my daughter that my patience won't last forever. Next time, I expect Vea to be with you. Or I might just let Captain Briven do this his way. I'll let her know that. Do as I command, and let them pass. Okay, that was... that was intense. I'm not sure who... I want to be on Vea's side, I really do, but... I'm a bad judge of character. People say I'm too nice, and I, I easily fall for what people say. I'm like, whoa, wow, and I, I can't tell when people will lie, and it sucks! <laughs> it sucks! <laughs> Oh wait, I forgot I have this awesome Dwemer mount that I can use that I still haven't figured out, guys, if this thing has headlights. People keep telling me it does, but I, have, I haven't I have figured it out and I can't prove it. So if you think my friends are just messing with me, please let me know. Because <laughs> I feel really embarrassed because I'm just like, I keep trying to do it. Here we go. Wait, I want to look at those. I want to look at those pigtails one more time. And there's blue. Oh man, I look amazing. <laughs> It's one of those aardvark things. I'm gonna run you over. Oh, I bet you feel bad. Where are we going? Going up here? 
Oh, it's Bea. Well, there certainly aren't Ashlanders, not with Earth tales. <gasps> it's my love. This is disturbing. Hey, Bea. What's going on? I can't believe this. Why allow the war claws to run roughshod over the camp like this? What's House Ritterin thinking? They're not. And what in the name of the three have they done with the Ashlanders? You sure this was an Ashlander camp? My brother often visited this camp. Took me along a couple of times. It used to be such a vibrant place. So full of life. I know House Redoran wants to expand along the western coast, but I never expected they'd set the war claws loose like this. Do you think your brother and the Ashlanders are still here somewhere? Hiding, if maybe? If was here, he'd never stand for the war claws invading the camp. He told me the Ashlanders were the same as you and I. Different beliefs don't necessarily make people bad. We need to see if we can find out what happened here. I'll look around, see what I can find. I really want to help, but Nariu won't hear of it. We don't get our hands dirty unless there's a writ attached. That's true. She's so fond of reminding me. She's so sexy. We'll hang I love around her. and wait for you to find something before we move in. All right, stay out of the way. Stay out of the way of the war claws until I find out where your brother is. Bea, I don't think this is a good idea. We're trying to keep you out of House Redwin hands, remember? You're not my parent, Nariu. I can take care of myself, even if the Mother of Blades doesn't think so. Damn it, Bea. You know I hate that title. That is so cool. They're both so cool. I keep hearing something. I think it's somebody's move. Oh, so cool. Wait, where was I going? Oh, I was going down here. So I need to search the Ashlander camp. Here I go. Here I go again on my own. Da -na -na -na. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. What's that? Hmm. Hmm. I am looking for stuff. So Vea can know where her brother's at. Who are you? Well, you're pretty. If I think I everyone in this game is pretty. This camp was going to be with Outlanders. I would have moved the tribe ages ago. You don't appear to be one of the heretical invaders, but looks can be deceiving. What do you seek, stranger? I'm looking for for Yulran. Ah, Yulran the exile. Oh, Yulran. Yul the. I can't talk today. He lost his status, but remained true to his heart. Yulran is here. He tried to stand against the Redorans, just as they detained me within this yurt. Where's Yulran now? I assume they dragged him off to the mine, along with most of the tribe who refused to let those tribunal dogs walk all over us. Or should I say tribunal cats in this instance? Ah. Be wary. The mine will be as protected as the camp. Maybe even more so. Dang, tell me more about this mine. It's a small hole in the ground. But it served us well until the Redorans and their war claws arrived. Now they toss my people aside and lock the door. Warclaw Irgazar carries the key, but there is a spare in the supply yurt. I'll get the key and I'll locate Yulron. Yulron, I'm saying it right now. I'm getting it. Either the Warclaw's commander or the supply yurt, whichever suits your needs. Perhaps you'll find what you seek within Kudanot's depths. Why didn't they send you to the mine with the rest of your people? To keep the head and the body separate. As long as I'm here, I can't offer my people hope or advice. That's terrible. And I certainly can't compel them to rebel against these invaders. I can help you escape if you want. I have no doubt. However, my place remains with my people. At least for now. The war claws have treated me well so far. They believe I can make their tails fall off if I so choose. Who am I to dissuade such creatures from their beliefs? Okay, well, I guess that's why they call you a wise woman. Have fun. I'm gonna do my own thing. All right, where was I going again? Wait, fudge. My camera angle, why? Oh shoot, these guys are bad. I f fudge. Oh man, I just fudged up. I should have taken out the healer first. Oh shoot, get up Jules. Come on, don't you know how to fight? Behave like somebody who wants to live. Yes. I like to take out the healers first because 
they're just a pain in the butt. <laughs> Every time I see one, I'm like, don't heal my enemies! How dare you help your comrades? I want to win! <laughs> Yay, I did a thing! I need to be more careful so I don't get in three fights again. Three ways. So I don't get in three ways. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm funny. Taking these grapes and this fish. Because I can. Um, you know what? I'm just going to rob you. I'm just going to rob you because I feel like it. I don't usually pick up crafting materials on this character. But you know what? Y'all push me. I'm going to rob you. Okay, we're going to enter the mine now. Right on. Making my way underground. It's super scary. There's mushrooms growing because it's Merlin. Here we go. Okie dokie then. Yippee. Kaye and whatnot. This is neat. <laughs> Why do you guys watch me? Why do you guys watch me play games? Longest loading screen of all time. Make me feel awkward. How dare you? Hi, mushrooms. I wasn't wrong. I knew there'd be mushrooms down here. All caves got them. What was that? What was that? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, oh boy. Shit. Pick one, pick one, pick one. They both don't look like healers. I'm going to help this guy. Intruders, warpaws, attack! Oh, he's going to help me. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I love it when other players help me. I'm like, oh my god, thank you. Please carry me. <laughs> I leveled up. Thanks, stranger. You're the best. Right on. Right on, guys. That's why I love playing online. Because of you beautiful people. Because of you beautiful gamers. You're the best. You're the real heroes. Are you guys bad guys? No, these are these are good guys. These are the guys trapped down here. Oh my gosh, they're all dead. Oh my god, they're dead. I didn't know they were dead. Oh my gosh. This is so awkward. Oh no, guys, I think her brother's dead. I just heard her cry over him. Oh my gosh, her brother's in there and he's dead. Oh my gosh, I'm super sad now. I'm sorry for running out. Oh, let's go back in there. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry your brother's dead. Oh, which one's your brother? Was it the guy that I touched? Oh, I bet it was. Oh, because there she is crying. Oh shoot, here, let me calm you with my staff. There, there. There, there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so sorry. I'm gonna talk to Naryu. Hey, I'm I'm so awkward at this. Have had to see this. Even I'm finding it hard to believe that the mercenaries would slaughter these Ashlanders for no reason. Not to mention the son of a house counselor. It doesn't make any sense. Well, if he tried to defend the Ashlanders, maybe the mercenaries killed him. I suppose anything could happen in the heat of the moment. To kill a veteran, even an exiled one, that's presumptuous even for the war clause. I wonder if Eris knows about this. I'm not sure how is going to get her answers now. She's not going to trust her father. Like, she's going to totally assume that he was behind this. I don't even know. Like I said, I'm a bad judge of character. I found this speaking stone on Yul Ron's body. Oh, maybe it'll tell us. Before. They used the Need. March to record and send the important messages. They're expensive and as rare as a sober Nord, but Auron was always attracted to the contrivances of other cultures. Shall we see what it has to say? If it can shed light on what happened here, I say yes. Do it. Do it for Vea. Oh. If oh. you're listening to my voice, know that my time is short and what I have to say is important. Brother, is that you? Everything that happened was a deliberate act to discredit me. I need to report the events so my sister can learn the truth about her brother. Aww. Aww. You have to understand, 
I don't share my house's hatred and distrust of Ashlanders. So, during my normal patrol, when I heard that Ashlanders had come to Balmera and were causing trouble, I was dubious to say the least. My heart hurts for Vea right now, but we're gonna learn the truth and that's all that matters. I arrived to find one of my soldiers arguing with the Ashlanders. He spat at them, called them savages. When one of the Ashlanders objected, my soldier drew his sword. Before I could intervene, my soldier's blade struck him down. I ordered the soldier to stand down, but he ignored me and stepped toward the second Ashlander. I killed my own soldier. I had to. Before I knew it, I was dragged before the Redoran Council and exiled. I never even got to say farewell to my sister. That's so sad. He was just trying to order a soldier to stop massacring and bullying people and calling them savages and putting them down. He was just... He loved those people and he, he saw them as people, not beneath him. And so another soldier was trying to murder him and he said no, so now he's in trouble. <laughs> I believe I was set up for this fall, but I really? don't know by who. I came to this camp for shelter. Did I hear the war clause? Oh fuck. Ever longer. Now Captain Briven's here. I'm going to talk to them. Just in case I made this stone for my sister Vea. Oh no. Oh gosh. All run! Damn it! What am I supposed to do now? Oh my gosh! This is so sad. I'm gonna talk to Vea first. Oran's not supposed to be dead. That wasn't the way this was supposed to end. What am I gonna do now? Damn Oran for leaving me that damn message, and damn him for dying on me. Gods, I miss my brother. I'm so sorry for your loss, Vea. I still don't understand. Oran said someone set him up to fall. Who would do such a thing? And why would they do it? Oran never wanted to hurt anyone. It sounds like your brother was a good man. So that's why they exiled him? That's why they killed him? He was too damn good? That's the problem? We've got to find out who did all this. They won't get away with this. I won't allow it. We'll find out who did this to him. I'll get you your vengeance. Oh, I'll find them all right. And when I do, they'll pay for what happened to Oran. I swear by Mafala's sacred web and the first blood my blade ever tasted, I'm going to avenge my brother. Dang, girl! Whatever you gotta do, shit! <laughs> I agree with Oran's assessment. Certainly sounds like someone led him into a situation guaranteed to make him fail. I can't believe he put this burden on Vea, though. What was Ulran thinking? You don't think we should continue to investigate Yulron's death? I think Yulron was just wanting to say goodbye to his sister, but maybe he does want to be avenged. I would want to be avenged. If anything happens to me, guys, if I stop making videos or I just disappear, you come find me. Come find me. I didn't say that. I'm just not sure how to proceed. We're entering dangerous waters here, going up against House Rudrin. And we don't even have a writ to protect us. Avenge me, guys. Avenge me. <laughs> no, I'm not in any danger. I'm awesome. So what do we do next? I'm going to take Bea and head back to our safe house in Balmora. They found our cave, but the abandoned basement is still secure. After that, I'm not sure. The Morog Tong has rules. If I break them, I'll have to deal with the consequences. What are the Morog Tong's rules? Like... We can't just kill with wild abandon. Oh, then you'd be like the Dark Brotherhood. We only execute those whose names appear on sanctioned writs. If we kill respectable citizens without a writ, that's just murder. So, without proof and a proper writ, my hands are tied. I should... I suppose we should let her father know about his son, the counselor. You do that, but be careful. We're not sure who in the House Redrin is involved, and I'd rather not see you wind up like these poor Ashlanders. Bea and I still need your help to get to the bottom of all of this. We'll see you in Balmora, hero. You guys, you guys have my staff. I'll do my best. And my axe. Gosh, this, eh, this, this whole quest has just been a roller coaster. Oh shoot. Somebody help me! Oh, 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, other player. Thanks for coming to my rescue. I love it when people help me. Please, please continue to do that. You're wonderful, special human beings, and I adore you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> they can't hear me, but I still like to say it because it's true. I do appreciate it. I need all the help I can get. You guys watch me game. I need tons of help. All the help. <laughs> all right, we got to go tell uh, Vea's dad what happened to her brother. Hopefully he, he wasn't involved, but... Holy cow, if he was, I can't. I just, I'm not a good judge of character, guys. I'm just not, and it's a video game. I'm just, I'm not very good at this. I'm not very good at making decisions, but I love games that give me decisions. Fuck. <laughs> My mind is a roller coaster right now, and you're all on it. Whoa, I will help this guy. I'm going to help you, because I know someday you'd help me. I'm going to take out this... This healer guy. Thanks, guys, friends, pals. Wait, where am I going? Oh, I gotta go up here. I'm gonna follow you guys. Let's go! I'm gonna follow them. I think they're on the same quest and they, they know where to go. Julie, why don't you just follow the marker? Shh. Shh. I wanna help. I wanna do this. I'm totally helping these guys. Why did I get back on that? I don't know why. I could have just blasted them from a distance. That's the whole point of having a staff. Is to kill things from a distance. Cool. This place is beautiful. I gotta go up there. Wait. Let me check my map. Oh, I gotta go back to town. So technically I need to go to my... This direction? Yes. Yes, I do. And I better get out of here because I just realized this is a world... What is this? Isn't it a world boss? Or what is that? Probably a world boss. I'm gonna run away. Cause I'm a coward and that's just what I do. Bye guys, I'm scared now. Something, 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 I'm a coward. <laughs> I'm not very good at making up jingles. I try though, I do it for fun. Making my way downtown, running away because I'm scared all the time. Na -na 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 -na. I gotta make up my own beats instead of using beats from popular songs. Here we go! Ah, oh, gosh, those mushrooms are so cool. I really hope Vea's dad didn't do it. I bet. I bet he did it. <laughs> I. It looks like my blue, but it's red. Neat. Look, blue. Got a girlfriend. Ooh, do you want the red pill or you want the blue pill? <laughs> Matrix. Man, I forgot how not fast this mount is. Because I'm used to my riding skills being maxed out on my other characters. So I get on this one, I'm like, wow, I'm slow. This sucks. <laughs> I need to log in and like start paying every day to upgrade it. Here we go. We're almost there. It's above. Is it up this way? I bet it's up this way. Is it up this way? I'm probably wrong. I don't know. I can't tell. I have no sense of direction. Don't mind me, guys. Just crawling around on my spider bot. Wee woo. Oh, I love my little blue. Little blue's so cute. All right. Uh, I feel like I should talk to the wife, but I, like I said, I'm a bad judge of character, and Customer my luck, I'd old. talk to her, and she'd be involved. Uh, I'm gonna talk to him. Ah. Uh. And so the Outlander returns, as we discussed in the swamp. I expected you to return with Vea, or present me with a time and place for us to meet. Tell me, Outlander. Which is it to be? There was a complication. Complication? 
What kind of complication? I ordered my soldiers to stand down and let you do things your way. But instead of results, you bring me excuses. Your son is dead. He was killed during the house red, red run, red ran, red run, <laughs> raid on the Ashlander camp. Can't pronounce no, words. That's not possible. My son was banished, ordered to leave Vardenfell and never return. Why would he disobey me and go to those savages? Vea was with me. She confirmed it was her brother. Vea was with you? And you left her out there? By the three, everything is unraveling no matter how hard I try to maintain control. Maybe you're holding on too tight there, pal. Shoot. I need you to do something else for me if you would, Outlander. I don't know. You gonna yell at me? What you need? Tell my daughter. I'm sorry. Tell her she needs to stay away until I can calm things down. I don't want to see anything happen to her. Promise me. And take this. Consider it payment for your efforts thus far. Wait. Now he's telling me to make her stay away? Does this mean he thinks he knows who's behind this? Huh. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I need some time to consider everything you've told me. Once I determine the best way to proceed, I'll contact you. In the meantime, make sure Vea stays away from Balmora and House Redoran. Wow. Um, did you order the attack on the Ashlander camp? It was never meant to be an attack. I sent Captain Bribbon to clear land that already belonged to House Redoran. The Ashlanders were given an opportunity to depart. The situation didn't have to turn violent. There was Damn savages should have just left. Wait, it was an Ashlander camp. How does that belong to you guys? House Redoran has been slowly expanding in that direction for years. We claimed Wait. that area almost a year ago. Wait, you can't we just take land from somebody. Abandon it when a massive ash storm hit. Before we could return, the Ashlanders moved in. Ah, well. Why not just let them use the land? They're nomads. They would have left eventually. Redoran depends on that land for hunting and resources. The Ashlanders are like a plague of insects. They sweep into an area, take everything, and move on. We couldn't allow them to do that here. So, I sent Captain Briven to convince them otherwise. Sounds like I need to talk to that captain then. Where can I find him? The captain serves House Redoran with honor and dedication. He's out doing his job. If Briven had anything to do with my son's death, he would have reported it to me. He'd have no reason to keep such news from me and the other counselors. I'm sorry, if if I had if he had anything to do with your son's death, I highly doubt he would have reported it. Because bad guys usually don't turn themselves in. <laughs> Yolron left behind a speaking stone. His last message indicated that he planned to talk to that captain guy, Briv. I'll speak to Briven when Briven. He I'm good at pronouncing and stuff. Stand. The captain operated under my orders. He's an exemplary soldier and an upstanding member of the house. Like me, everything he does is for the betterment of House Redoran. Well, did you order the attack on the Ashlander camp? Didn't I just ask that? It was never meant to Okay, be. okay, so we're done. We're done talking to him. Sometimes I can't tell if the conversation's over and I don't remember if I asked certain things. My bad. Here we go. Okay, um... I'm sorry, that captain guy is starting to sound very suspicious. If you kill somebody, you're... You don't... Yeah, it's true. You, I don't know why he thought he would report it. It just doesn't make sense. I just don't get it, I guess. I'm just not of noble blood and I could never understand, like, high society life. I'm good at other stuff, though. Thank goodness. Outlander, over here. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, it's that guy. Uh, but what's my quest say? Oh, I'm supposed to talk with him. Now you told me what you found in the Ashlander mine. I can't imagine what Vea must be going through right now, but she shouldn't be alone. That's why I came looking for you. Why me? Isn't Naryu with her? Naryu has responsibilities to tend to. Ah, she's a master More assassin after all. Responsibilities. Understand? 
She left me to keep Vea company, but I'm not very good at spouting words of comfort and solace. You talking to me, pal? Unless I can kill something. I'm very good at that. Shit! <laughs> so you want me to talk to Vea? You do understand. And now you imply you're as dense as the ash storms coming off Red Mountain. Good to know even the Mother of Blades can be wrong. Vea's upset, and not just about her brother. She wanted to go with Nayu. He's got a way with words, doesn't he? He just has a way of way of making me not like him. All right, I'll go talk to Vea, because... Nayu's job concerns House Redoran. That's why she didn't want Vea to accompany her on this one. Vea's grief-stricken, angry, and ready to lash out at anyone and anything. So keep your head low and try not to upset her. Oh my gosh. So, like, I hope Naryu's not gonna assassinate her dad or something. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm totally lost. Sounds like you had some experience getting on Vea's bad side. I have experience getting on a lot of people's bad sides. Yeah. Women, especially, yeah. find me exasperating. Irresistible, but exasperating. It's a gift. Nah, you are cute. You are cute, but I still am really mad at you. All right, why does Vea want to go with Naryu? Something about who Naryu's target is. Thinks the target may know something about what happened to her brother. Oh, it's Look, not her dad then. I'm not even sure how Vea found out who Naryu's target is, and I don't want to know. Just go and talk to her, please. Any advice on how I should approach her? Carefully, and with your hands empty and clearly visible. Dang! She's in the safe house beneath Balmora, or at least that's where I left her. But I didn't lock the door. So I suppose she could be anywhere by now. I suggest you hurry and get down there. Oh my gosh, you are no help ever. I gotta... Is this where I'm supposed to talk to Vea? Okay, that's not far. That's not far from here. Let's go talk to Vea. Wow, and so close too. Like, her dad has like no idea how close she is. It's in the abandoned cellar. Get out of here, Ashur. I don't need a nursemaid no matter what Nari you might think. She's still down here. Oh, it's okay. Please don't rip my pigtails out. It's you. Hi. Sorry about that. Well, hey. Did Arshaw send you to check up on me? I swear, the next person that treats me like a child is going to find my dagger in their stomach. Gods, I'm not mad at you. I'm just annoyed at everybody right now. You have that right because you're not 16. You look like a 30-year-old woman. You look like my age, so... Yeah, you can make your own decisions. Do you want me to go away? No, I don't think so. It's just been difficult. Finding poor Auron in the Ashlander camp. I need to be doing something. Sitting down here in the dark, hiding, that's not going to solve anything. But Naryu told you to stay here. I know, but Naryu's writ. It involves a Redoran counselor. Exactly the opportunity I've been waiting for. The counselor knows who set up my brother. We need to talk to her before Naryu executes the writ. Do this for me, and I promise to stay here. Okay, I'll I'll do it. Where can I find Naryu? Well, Naryu wouldn't tell me any specifics, but she trained me well. It wasn't hard to sneak a glance at the writ before she took off. Her target's at a Renan Manor, out in the swamp. Not far from that smelly cave, actually. Okay, I'll go there and see if I can delay Naryu's kill long enough to learn something. I appreciate you agreeing to see what you can learn at Arenim Manor. My father used to say it was used by counselors as a retreat, but mother always told me it was where they conducted business that required a certain degree of privacy. Ooh, up to some bad stuff. Uh, have you given any thought to your brother's message? That's all I've been doing, thinking. And I think Ulran was right. I think someone wanted him out of the way, and they orchestrated the event with the Ashlanders to do it. Someone played my brother for a fool, and it cost him his life. What can you tell me about the captain? Riven's as stubborn as my father when it comes to following the rules and regulations of House Redoran. Oran and Briven were best friends, even if they argued from time to time. What did Briven and Yulron uh, argue about? Politics, foreign relations, the Ashlanders. You name an issue, and Oran and Briven were probably on opposite sides of the argument. That's adorable. Got to the point where I had to ignore both of them or they drive me insane. I told your father what happened. You you did. How did he take it? I mean, he didn't know that my brother was dead. 
No, he didn't. He didn't know, and he seemed as upset as you or as you are over the news. He's really devastated. Really? I suppose that makes sense. I think he loves us in his own way. That's so sweet. But what else did he say? Did he know that Ulrun had been banished? He told Ulron to go to the mainland. He didn't expect him to return to the Ashlanders for shelter. He didn't expect... <laughs> My father doesn't know his children as well as he thinks. Either of them. That's why I had to get away. Join the Morag Tang. At least Naryu understands me. Mostly. Your father said you should avoid the house until he could sort out what happened. I can't agree to that. I need to figure out what happened to my brother, who was involved, and then I'm going to make them pay. Just you watch. Dang, girl, have you given any thought to your- Oh, I already asked that. Well, dang, girl, you super strong and scary, and I'm just gonna back away. Please don't- don't hit me and leave. Please don't hit my little blue. Oh, I love your puppies. I have one of those, but I like blue. I'm gonna keep blue. Blue's adorable. Where are we going? I need to jump on it. Why don't I just go around? I'm such a turkey. Ooh, I'm going way out there. Well, we're just gonna keep on trucking. We're gonna get on out there. Get it, get it. Excuse me, out of my way. Honk, honk. Move, get out the way. Get out the way, punk. Get out the way. Wait, can I go this way? Oh no, I'm lost. This happens all the time. I have no sense of direction. Why don't I just look at my map that's free and that I can use at any time? Okay. Neat idea, Julie. What a great idea. What a great plan. I found a way out. I did good. I is smart. I is important. <laughs> Yay! I try, guys. I really, really do. I'm running. Just keep running. Just keep rolling. Just keep rocking. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Holy, holy moly. That's a big place. This is where they do their private business. I bet they cheat on their wives here. Hmm. This looks like a cheating on your wives kind of place. Hmm. <laughs> How do I get in here? Wait, this isn't where I need to be. Ooh, I messed up. I messed up. I'm embarrassed. Don't look. Guys, I messed up. I did an oopsie. I did an oopsie daisy. There it is. That's the place. Yeah, that looks like a place. That looks like a place for doing private business. Not like that other place that looks sleazy. This is a very appropriate establishment. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe I messed up. I'm so embarrassed. Hey, you. I you hours ago, hero. Wait. It's not polite to keep an assassin waiting. Wait, you expecting me? What? I was wondering how long it was going to take Vea to convince you to follow me. But she thought I didn't notice when she glanced at my writ, didn't she? Where is my overly curious apprentice, by the way? First of all, that outfit. Wowza. Wowza, girl. You look so good. I'm gonna catcall you, you fictional character. Uh, Vea stayed in Balmora, and she wants me to see what your target knows about Yolran's exile and murder and whatnot theme about her. I know Vea wants answers, but this is my job. There are rules, especially where the lords of the great houses are concerned. There might be a way to deal with this, though, provided you're willing My cat's to yelling at me. Uh, what do you need me to do? I'm willing to help. First, don't kill any veterans. My cat's That's yelling at me. And could have serious consequences for both of us. Second, you sneak around and search for anything that pertains to Ulron's exile while I figure out how to deal with the counselor. All right, I'll see what I can turn up for you. You need to be invisible. These things work best when no one but the target. Dang, thunder and lightning and shit. Storms. I cough on anyone without a writ, and the Morog Tong will have my head. Ah, uh, do you offer? Um, do you offer receive writs that call for the death of high-ranking house officials? It's unusual, but not unheard of. True, most writs taken out against the houses target low to mid-ranking officials. The Grand Master is cautious when it comes to accepting such a high-profile writ. Apparently, though, 
This target has been very bad. Okay. Well, guys, I also have to apologize for my reading. I'm kind of having a brain dead moment where I'm like, what? What? What, what did the counselor do? Counselor Dovera has been conspiring with House Drez to promote the slave trade and avoid scrutiny by Redwin and Pact officials. She played a dangerous but profitable game, and her coffers were overflowing. Until someone noticed. What gave her away? We privy to the laborious investigations that took no place. No rumple. My in cat's being like bad. These, though, the target usually becomes complacent and lets her guard down. She made I mess. scared her. Now I get to clean it up. For the good of Dunmer society. Okay, um, why do you think Yolran was really exiled? That's the question, isn't it? It nags at us the way the torch bug nags at the brave little scrib in those children's stories. Once we discover who Ulron's torch bug is, we'll have a clearer understanding of why they set him up and why he had to die. Okay, you think Yolron's death was all part of the plan? I'm not saying that. Accidents happen. But they certainly made sure Ulron was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Dang. Both in Balmora and again in the Ashlander camp. In addition to whatever you can find here, we should also talk to Captain Riven. You think the captain is involved in all this? Riven's name keeps coming up. At the very least. Yeah, he was it does. Best friend once. He might be able to shed some light on Auron and what happened to cause his exile. And I really want to know what took place after Auron left us that message. Uh, did you need to leave Vea behind? Really? Vea's my apprentice, and I'll decide when she's ready to take on a mission. Okay. She's been through a lot. And her actions reflect on me and my status in the Morog Tong. She may not appreciate it right now, but I'm trying to keep the both of us on track. Okay. So you're accountable for Vea's actions. That's how it works. Her actions are my actions. Vea goes out and executes three writs. I share the credit and get praised for training my apprentice. Okay. On the Neat. other hand, if she kills someone without a writ, the Morog Tong takes both our heads. Dang, Morog Tong rules are kind of fucking intense. They have to be. My order came this close to being eliminated. It's only recently that we've started to make a comeback, and only in Dunmer territory. If we can't control the actions of our members, we'll be hunted down and destroyed for sure. I getcha. I understand. Let's get started then. Let's get on this, girl. Do I have to... Alright, find a way into the manor. Avoid killing the soldiers. Huh. I'm gonna try to avoid killing them. I'm feeling like a big softy. With my braids. Feeling like an innocent schoolgirl. Let's do this! I jumped into a rock. I am in a restricted area. I need to be careful. I'm gonna try really hard to be sneaky. How do I get in? Thought I saw someone there. The front door is guarded like a bank vault. Maybe there's another way in through one of the buildings by the docks. How did I get past that guy without being seen? I'm so surprised I didn't get caught, in all honesty. I should just kill the guards, but I'm too nice. Open. Is there anywhere I can hide? This looks promising. Might even lead to the wine cellars. I could use a good bottle of wine. There's a guard down there. Get back up here before he sees us, you turkey. Find a way to the manor. Go that way. This might lead the way. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find out. Okay, he stops there. So I just have to wait till he comes back. 
and try to sneak around him. Okay, I can do this. I'm good at stuff. Just gotta sneak on by. I'm gonna hide in here because I don't know who's all gonna be coming. I don't see anyone. It's hard to see. My camera angle. My camera angle is out all the way. Ah, oh, there's a guy. Okay. Usually when I see these, I'm like, okay, there has to be a guard nearby that I have to hide from. Alright, you just keep trucking, dude. Woo, we're doing it, guys! Can't believe I didn't get caught, in all honesty, but hey, there's still time. I could, I could totally get caught. Still. I can't see very well in the other room. Should I climb up here? See what you can find pertaining to Uron. I've got a dagger and a writ with Councillor Dolvara's name on them. Okay. We're still in the hot zone. Shit. The only fish that go with the river's flow are the dead ones. Shit, I need to be very careful. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck me. Okay, I gotta wait till he walks away. Oh my gosh, guys. These uh, sneaking missions, uh, they're really hard. For me anyway, because I'm a baby. Okay, walk away. And then I'm going to go around her. If we don't find anything, Shit. maybe we can ask for an invitation to the upcoming council meeting. I'm sure they'd be happy to answer our questions. There are just so many people here, like, oh my gosh. I think he's just gonna sit there forever and stir his pot. But I want to sit here just in case and make sure nobody pops out at me. I don't think anybody's gonna pop out at me. Oh shit. Here we go. Sneaking through this house, da -da -da -da. probably gonna die. Okay, gosh, guys, I'm actually so surprised I haven't got. Redoran issued an advisory against the Morog Tong. That lot of good that's going to do the counselor. Okay, okay. Wait, do I need to go above? I'm gonna go up because I I don't know, and I'm scared. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I like to check stuff while I'm at it. Woo! I can't believe how good I'm doing right now. Oh, sweet guys. Man, how awesome did I do? Luck. I was hoping for a quick stab and go, but it seems the counselor might actually know something about Auron. So, Counselor Dovra does know something about Vea's brother. Damn it all. Now I suppose you want to actually talk to her before I execute the walking pile of pond scum. Don't we need to find out what she knows about him? For Vea? Of course we do. I specifically waited for you to arrive because I figured that would be the case. She's so done with me. I'm happy about blurring the line between helping Vea and performing my duty as a Morog Tong. What do you think about the other information we found? We discovered that the next meeting of the High Council will take place at the consulate outside Balmra. The war clause and the Ashlander abuse aren't completely sanctioned by the house, and Dolvara was present when Ulran was exiled. Not a bad haul. And that all means because I'm dense? That means we have to get Dolvara to spill her guts before I spill her guts. Just keep your wits about you, hero. Dolvara wields her feminine charms the way I wield my daggers. Don't let her seduce you into doing something stupid before I end her. You're the only love for me. Oh, do I have to sneak out of here? Can I just jump out? I'm gonna try to jump because I don't want to have to sneak through all that. 
Alright, I'm gonna do first person because if I don't, it makes me talk to her. Can I jump out this way? To my death! I didn't die! Yay! I hope I didn't have to go back in there. Fuck! I did have to go back in there. Why do I do these things before I think? Why don't I think before I do these things? I mean, gosh. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Ah! That's okay. I mean, everybody makes mistakes. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, I know I say everybody makes mistakes, but I get so frustrated when I do. Hey, cool. I almost ripped that dragonfly's wings off. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to swim around, aren't I? I am. Because I am a turkey. I can't believe I jumped down from that. Because I thought I had to just run back to town because I don't pay attention. I'm a silly, a silly nilly. Yeah, don't mind me. Just trespassing. Nothing to see here. Oh shit, I want to wait till that guy moves. I am in a restricted area. I'm in a lot of trouble. Man, I hope I don't have to sneak back through all that. I bet I do, because I'm a turkey. Can I just go? Nope, I have to go around. I have to go around again. Fudge! Fudge! Okay guys, I got back up here. Sorry about that. I didn't have to jump off like that, but I did like a turkey, but I snuck my way back through and I got back up here. Only got Saul like twice, so my bounty's 46 gold, but that's okay. And here we go to com confront this councilwoman about her dirty, dirty deeds. Her dirty laundry. And she's apparently a sed seductress, so I'll have to watch myself. You must be here about those pesky patrol schedules. After all that clandestine correspondence, it's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Hello. Now, come closer so we can celebrate our partnership in a proper fashion. Gross. Okay, hey, what's up? Well, look at you. I'm impressed. The last person House Drez sent over was so much more... Scruffy. I have a meeting with House Halalu shortly, but I think I can spare a few more moments for you to seal our partnership, if you understand. Oh, dang, I just realized uh, I leveled up and I could use the skill point to get the persuade finally. So let me do that real quick. We're going to go to skills and that. And it should be... Alright, because we're going to need this because it's so much easier when you have the Fighter's Guild and Mage's Guild abilities. Awesome. Okay, lady. Well, look at you. I'd love to spend some time with you first. Why don't you tell me about Yulron? The noble's banished son? Why does House Drez care about that? Never mind. Anything so we can get to the good stuff. Gross. Yulron <laughs> was tested and found wanting. Chose the life of a savage over his own soldier. We stripped him of his rank and exiled him. Well, who tested him? Who killed him? You can tell me. Uron's dead. Hmm. I hadn't heard. As to who was behind the test of Uron's loyalty, what does that matter? He failed and paid the price for his poor choices. What does all this have to do with our arrangement? Oh, nothing. I was just curious. Now, weren't we about to get to know each other a little better? Gross, gross, gross. You aren't clever enough or pretty enough to avoid what's about to happen, Dolra. What's the meaning of this? Who are you people? I'm a Morog Tong with a writ that says you're a criminal and a traitor. That means I get to end your miserable existence. Hmm? <laughs> Dang! But we didn't get all the answers! Take another look around, hero, and see if you can find anything else related to Auron. Ah, oh, she died looking up my skirt. Gross. Ah, oh, I like her little bathtub. Okay, I'm gonna touch your oils. Yeah. Alakir massage oils? Fancy. But that has nothing to do with Auron. How about this? More proof that Dolra was in bed with both House Halalu and House Drez. Dang. Such scandals. 
That's Captain Brudenseal. I suppose our evil counselor courted favor wherever she could find it. Even him? I mean, I had my suspicions, but I'm a bad judge of character. The good Captain Briven appears to be more involved in Auron's fate than I had imagined. He never struck me as the type to use murder and deceit to get ahead, but that's the problem with greed. It causes decent people to make stupid choices. That's so true. It sounds like the captain is spreading uh, Yulron's soldiers to the four winds to make a fresh start. Or he's trying to hide something. The letter mentioned an intact squad sent to scout the old fort. You need to get out there and see what those soldiers know before Briven gives them new orders and they disappear. Okay, should I let Vea know what we discovered first? I suppose. She's probably pulled tight as a bowstring waiting to hear something. Go talk to Vea while I present my writ to the authorities. I can't wait to see the look on the Redrin Magister's face when I tell him what his counselor was up to. I'll go talk to Vea. I hope I hope he I hope that guy believes you. I mean, even with the proof, I hope he's not greedy and corrupt. But I don't know much about I don't know much about that stuff. How do I do I where am I going? Talk to Vea. Okay, so I can jump off the balcony again. That's all I want to do is just jump off this val balcony again and make sure I don't have anything left to do here. And it doesn't look like I do, I don't think. Vea should be outside. I swear if I jump off of this and I still need to be in here, I'm going to be sad. Let me make sure. Talk to Vea. I'm jumping out again. I bet I was supposed to be in here. Nope. Yay! Oh, fuck. Don't fight me! I'm innocent! I'm just a baby. The bigger ones are out there. You just need to look hard. I'm going to run away. Don't give me a bounty. I'm a good person. I'm just in the wrong place. Help. I fucked up. I fuck up a lot. They can't get me if I'm in the water. Ha, oh, sucks to suck. Oh, what are you going to do? Nothing, because I'm right here and you're over there. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah, go back to guard nothing, you shits. Man, I'm just so nice today. I'm no longer trespassing. But I still gotta be careful because when I go back to town, there's the chance that guards will spot me. So I have to be careful. Aw. Running through the woods. I heard something. I hope I don't have to fight. Fuck. I'm sad. I'm scared. Ah! I'm running away because I'm a coward. It's okay to be a coward, guys. It's called strategic withdrawal. Live to fight another day. I'll never level up by being a coward. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing that in my spare time when I'm not recording. Just leveling up this character. Just going through the main storyline like I used to with my other characters. And just leveling her up. Power. I could power level too. I've got this great place where I grind sometimes. And it's awesome. Am I going the right way? Not really. Not really. Okay. Well, I'll get there. I'ma get there. I'ma keep trucking. I'ma keep on wandering. Cause I'm a wandering soul. Oh shoot. Watch out for that tree. George, George, George of the jungle. Watch out for that tree. Some of you are probably too young to know that. Or maybe not. Here I go, assuming. Always assuming shit. That's my that's what my motto. That's what I do. This channel should be called Assuming Shit. Oh shit, there's a guard. Like I said, guys, you gotta watch out for those guards if you got a bounty. Oh, I should just pay it. I'm just gonna pay it. Fuck it. I don't usually because I'm a cheap ass, but... Uh. Yes, yes. I'm a terrible plague on society. I've done wrong. I'll settle for the bounty. There you go. Your armor is awesome, by the way. Could you compliments get me out of jail, though? Ah, oh, gosh. You guys are rude. But they're just doing their gerbs. And I'm just a little ruffian. Here I am. Gonna go talk to Vea. Hello. Oh, gosh. She is wound tight as a bowstring. Look at her go. She's probably just... All her thoughts are racing, and she's just taking it on this poor dummy. Hey, you. Back again. Took your sweet time. You didn't learn anything, did you? 
Not that it matters. Oran's dead and nothing can change that. That's so sad that she feels that way. We know where to find the soldiers who were with Yulron the day of the incident. What good is that going to do? They won't speak to us. House before family and all that. Believe me, I'm more than familiar with Redoran honor. Still, I suppose I know a few ways to get people to talk. I don't think you should leave the safe house until Naryu gets back. More rules. Oh, fudge. I thought we were beyond those kinds of limitations. Look, I need to figure out who's responsible for Oren's death. House counselors, Redoran soldiers, Ashlanders, whoever it is, they need to pay. We also discovered that the captain might have had a role in Yulron's troubles. Riven was Oren's best friend. Did he really betray my brother? Regardless, I want you to have this. You could have handed me to my father and you didn't. Other than Naryu and Asher, you might be the only friend I have left. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh, guys, that helmet looks awesome. Looks so cool. So which soldiers are we talking about? I know most of the people my brother used to work with. Eyewitnesses are better than notes in the house registry. Provided I can actually get them to talk to me. Well, Vatola squad, they're scouting the old fort, but I really think we should wait for Naryu. We should wait. There's no time to waste. Ugh. That fort's near the She's cave where I was hiding. Last time I was there, the fort was crawling with cultists. We need to find them before Vatola and his soldiers wind up sacrificed to some Daedric prince. Dang, a few more moments, we'll maybe. Vatala and his soldiers Ugh. killed. I know the process. Turning in a rick can take hours, maybe even an entire day. I'll leave Naryu a note. She can meet us at the fort. I'm going. Either come with me or get out of my way. I'm gonna come with her because if she kills someone, that's 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 on Naryu too. Like they'll both lose their heads because she's her apprentice, and I gotta make sure she doesn't kill anyone Let without me a rick. Let gear and write a note for Naryu. I'll meet you near the Hlomeran stronghold. The more I think about it, the more convinced I am that we'll learn who's responsible for Oren's death soon. Then blood will flow. Wait, blood will flow? Don't you need a writ to kill someone? We just talked about this. As far as I'm concerned, rules got my brother killed. But you'll they die too! To oh my gosh, Besides, girl! To find the soldiers, we're probably going to have to carve a path through those cultists. The Morag Tong won't care about that. Can you please behave like a woman who wants to live? I thought Naryu was responsible for your actions. That's what the handbook says. Look, I know what Naryu's done for me. To keep me safe, I appreciate that. But this is about what they did to my brother. Nothing else matters. Not Naryu, not you, and certainly not me. Dang, don't force me to choose between you two, but I will always pick Naryu. I will always pick Naryu. No, never. You and Naryu aren't my enemies. I just need to get justice for Ulran. But can you Otherwise wait? His death will be the first of many. Be patient. We have to be able to resist laws that make no sense or get people hurt without being afraid of getting exiled. I'm panicking. Uh, do you know Vol- Vatola Tellum. I can't pronounce. I know Vatola. Vatola. He's a typical Redoran soldier. Loyal to a fault. Always spouting nonsense about house and honor above all. He was devoted to my brother, though. Oran considered him to be one of his best. Why didn't that Volt, Volt Ola stand up for Yulron at his trial? I cannot pronounce names. Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. Oran had a habit of putting the needs of others ahead of his own. He probably told Vatala and his Vatala, 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 Vatala. Decided to take responsibility and save the many heartache. I hope these soldiers remember that when we find them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, girl. Oh my gosh. I don't even... I can't even... I don't know what to say. Jeez Louise, girl. Here we go, guys. We're just gonna keep on trucking. Just keep going. This is crazy. Where are we going? Where are we going to? Well, that's not too far out. Oh my gosh. That's just a lot to take in. Like... If she kills someone, it's just murder, and that's on both of their heads. She needs to just stop. I realize her brother died, but she needs to stop thinking about vengeance and think about Naryu, too. Because I don't think she wants to die or be exiled from the Morog Tong. I heard something, and it scared me in the distance. 
Sounded like a whale. A giant flying whale, I bet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so invested in this quest. My, it makes my heart hurt for Vea and Naryu and all everybody. I don't know who to trust and I don't know who to believe and whose side to take and it just hurts my soul. I hate having feelings. Oh shit, some saw me and I gotta run faster. Okay, good. Oh, thank goodness. Wow, Vea, you sure got out here quick. You're here. I'm here. The damn cultists are here. You know who isn't here? Battler and his squad. They're probably hiding. Or dead. They better not be dead. Have you seen Naryu yet? Naryu's probably busy clearing her writ, and we don't have time to wait. This opportunity to learn more about what happened to Olran won't last much longer. We need to find that squad of soldiers. We should really wait for Naryu before we do anything rash. Fine. You wait for Naryu. I'm going to go and find those soldiers. Okay, we'll handle this your way. Any idea where we should look for the soldiers? Their orders were to scout the old stronghold. I suggest we search along the outskirts and see if we can pick up their trail. Fudge! I don't wanna! I wanna wait for Naryu! I guess I'll scout stuff. It is pretty out here. I guess I could take it all in. Look at the flowers. Look at the scary trolls. Oh my gosh. Ah, gosh, let's look at all the things out here that can eat me. Oh, look, a camp. Maybe they were here. A bedroll. Still wrapped and ready to use. Standard issue for a redoran soldier. That must be the cultist up there. Well, I'm gonna avoid them because I'm a coward. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna have to fight him. Here we go. Oh shoot, I think that's a healer. Get the healer! I get so intense when I fight. Okay, got that. We got a key to something. A Redoran officer's sword. No Redoran soldier would leave that behind willingly. Who saw us? Oh, there he is. He's making his way downtown. Walking fast, trying to kill us, and I'm gonna hide now. Nah, 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 nah. I'll help you, Vea. Okay, he's dead. Good. Now can I check this backpack? Oh, I didn't want to talk mm -hmm. to Vea. Oh, I guess I can't check this backpack. It's just... It's just there for decoration. Above. So we need to go up here. The skulls aren't, you know, intimidating at all. Of course not. Yay, you're dead! I won! I am the winner! You are the- Oh my god! That's dark! Okay, they're all dead. By these cultists. But the others, they're civilians. They must have taken Telen's soldiers inside. Dang. So some of these are civilians, but one's the captain. Or somebody she knew. I was kind of mortified and I didn't pay attention. Aw, oh, dead Gwar. I've never seen Gwar bones before. That's neat. That's new for me. That's a that's a first. Here we go. Going into the stronghold. Are you a bad guy? You are a bad guy. Neat. And you rock a bow. Well, I rock these dudes. Ooh, can I pay- can I take those coins? Can I- oh my gosh, I can! Oh, what a treat! I love it! I love when I get treats! Where am I going? Let's Where's... find the soldiers and get out of here before these stupid cultists realize what's happening. Okay. I'm right behind you. Wait, am I following you or are you following me? We won't let you take us without a fight. Hello. Bea, is that you? Thank the three. 
You're all still alive. How? <laughs> I sound so shocked. I'm so happy to find survivors, I mean. I'm not sure what you and Bear are doing here, but let us out. Then we can return Bear to her father. Counselor Eris has been terribly worried since she disappeared. First, we want to know what happened to Yoron and why you're in a cage. This isn't the time or the place to have that discussion. Get the key to this cage and then we can find a private place to talk. Any idea where I can find the key to your cage? One of the cultists carries the key. I don't think he's too far away. We hear him patrolling around every so often. Free us, and I'll tell you whatever you want to know. You have my word as a redoran and as an officer. Okay. You find the key. Me and Vatala. We're going to have a little chat while we're waiting. Oh, that sucks. I'm just trying to protect you. From what? The truth? Oh, please. I kind of want to listen. did this to my brother. Oh, she's going to stop talking. Okay, I'm going to go do my thing then. I thought they were all just going to unleash their problems and I wanted to eavesdrop and be nosy. Wait. It is really hard to find my way around this place. Oh shoot. I don't think you're the guy I need, but I'll kill you. I'll kill you just because you're here. Nice. Nice. I'm so strong. What level am I anyway? I'm level. I'm almost level eight. I'm amazing. I'm awesome. Here we go. Ah, another sacrifice for the prince of Oh, Barnes. shoot. I hope I can fight this guy. What is that? Oh my gosh. I need help. I might die. Is this some kind of Daedric magic? I don't know why I did that instead of fighting. Behave like someone who wants to live, Julie. Dang. Okay, I'm gonna focus my attacks on him instead. Because if I fight that, this thing's gonna- this battle's gonna be dragged on. Oh, not you. I want to hit him. Yay, I did it! Whoa, I really could have used some help, but you know, I'm proud of me for doing it all on my own. Got the key. Wait, is she gonna leave him? What what were they talking about to make her want to leave them behind? That's not like Vea. She just left for some reason. She left me here. I knew I shouldn't have told Vea the truth. I just made everything worse. Oh. Please let us out of here. We have to stop Vea before she does something she'll regret. Well, where is she? And tell me what happened. I told her what she wanted to hear. I was with Captain Ulran the day everything happened. I was commanded to lure the Ashlanders to town and set up a situation for Ulran to deal with. What kind of situation? My orders were to invite the Ashlanders to Balmora to trade, send some local toughs to instigate a commotion, and then get Ulran to investigate. Oh no. It was just supposed to be a loyalty test. Who expected Ulran to kill his own soldier to save a savage? You said you were following orders? Who gave these orders? Captain Brivan, though he was still a lieutenant at the oh time. Oh my god. As soon as I explained all this to Vea, her face turned dark and she stormed out of here. I think she's going to Balmora to kill him. You need to let me out so I can warn the captain. I, I need... Uh, I, I don't really don't want him to warn the captain, but... I kind of do because of Naryu. Uh, I'm gonna say... He, I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna let him go because it's the right thing to do. If I leave him here, the cultists are gonna kill him. So, I'm... Here's the key, but I want you to stay out of this. I'll deal with Vea. Now, get to Balmora and stop Vea before she does something she'll regret. Get out of here, pal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Vea, why? Vea, why? You're gonna get Naryu's head chopped off because you're her apprentice. It's like she doesn't even care. Alright, I'm just gonna run through this. Oh shit, I just landed on top of those guys. Don't hit me! 
Fudge, I don't want to fight. I just want to run away and get to Vea as fast as possible because I'm a coward. If I run far enough, they can't chase me. Yes, I can mount. That means they gave up. I always test to see if I can get on my mount. Situation and it's not good. Oh shit. Hey Naru, I'm glad you're on top of things. I leave you and Vea alone for a couple of hours and everything goes to oblivion in an ore cart. Why did Vea leave the safe house? And why is House Redran tearing the city apart to find her? Oh my gosh, you're gonna be mad. You're gonna be so mad. Vea couldn't wait, so we went to find the soldiers who were scouting the old fort. You did what? I suppose you thought that was a good idea. Yeah. Well, the damage is done. At least Tony found something to make this debacle a little more palatable. Well, we learned that uh, Brivin gave the order that led Ulron to his banishment. That explains why Vea broke into the Kin House. I'm not sure what happened in there, but she certainly stirred up the Redren soldiers. Vea might still be inside. Or she might have given them the slip. She could be anywhere by now. I can get inside and try to talk to her. If Bea kills Briven without a writ, the Morog Tong and House Redren will both want her head on a silver platter. You check the kin house. I'll grab Asher and see if we can pick up Bea's trail in the streets. Don't let me down, hero. Oh, I'm still your hero. Okay. Yes, honey. Yes, dear. Okay, we're in the manor. I'm at my wit's end. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's going on. Bea, hello. Oh my god, there's a lot of guys that were beat up. She was going on a rampage. I hope she didn't murder all those guys. I hope they're just knocked out unconscious. I'm pretty sure they're just knocked out. Oh no. Oh honey, oh no. You took what I love, now I'll do the same. Fudge a duck! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna... I'm gonna look down here first. Oh, I hope I didn't do anything bad, but I'm stressed out, so I'm gonna search for stuff to steal. Oh, this fancy place and there's no good items to steal? What are these rich snobs good for? Absolutely What's the nothing. meaning of this? Where are the soldiers? Hi. If you're looking for my husband, I'll tell you the same thing that I told that brazen young woman. The council is meeting outside Balmora, and Brivin is protecting the councillors. Now, if you don't mind, I've had more than enough excitement for one day. The brazen young woman? What did she say? I could barely make sense of the nonsense she was spouting. It was Vea, Councillor Eris's daughter. Everything she said was a ramble. Something about my husband betraying her brother, that my Brivin had to suffer just as she was suffering. She didn't harm you, did she? She had a knife, but no, she didn't harm me. She said her brother wouldn't hurt an innocent, that I wasn't responsible for his death. Do you have any idea what she was talking about? Because I certainly don't. Where is the council meeting you just mentioned? You shouldn't get involved. That young woman will hasten her own death if she thinks she can get past my husband and his soldiers. But if you insist, the meeting is taking place at the garrison north of Balmora. You might want to seek shelter somewhere else. Vea left a trail of dead soldiers down. Th oh my god, they're dead! Oh, I thought she knocked him out. Oh my gosh, they're dead. Soldiers. They were just protecting the kin house. Uh, I'll go stay with my sister in Vivek. Oh my gosh, I I honestly did not think Vea would kill those guys. She's in a lot of trouble. I there's no way we can save her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Vea. Vea, what have you done? What an ornery, ornery girl. How do I get out of here? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I thought you guys were asleep. Uh, rip. Oh, pitiful me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry everybody's dead. I'm gonna talk down here to Naru. Please tell him you found Vea. 
You're gonna be mad. Nobody feel the cold steel of the executioner's blade on the back of my neck. Faya's going to the council meeting to confront the captain. Is Faya trying to get herself killed? Yeah. Just barge into a Redren garrison and ask the soldiers to stand aside while you murder their captain? We have to get to her before she gets to Brivin. Uh, Vea also left a trail of dead soldiers in the Kin House. She murdered soldiers without a writ. This is a dark path she's decided to follow. And unless we play this just right, it's not going to end well for any of us. Let's find Vea and put a stop to this. We can deal with any consequences after that. I'll meet you at the garrison outside the city. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't... I don't know if I can stop Vey or not, but we're going to have to find out in the next episode, guys, because I am all out of time for today. But, guys, if you like this video, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Bye! You think you are not like the others. You think you are one of